Everybody's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I only had about two hours today. Uh, it's like the weather wants to be nice when I don't have time to be outside. But I still had to get something done. So I came out here, made use of the time that I did have. And in addition to what I came out here to do, I was testing out different ways of carrying the JX Omega, which is coming up here soon. And one of those ways, which I really like, is mounted on the back of a small, like, day pack. Well, this isn't even really a day pack, but like the, in this case, we've got the Sabra partner pouch. It's like one of my favorite bags. And it's like, might as well just uh, kind of show the minimal gear that I have in this for, you know, just a day, day hike or something like that. When you're not at like a big, you know, risky area. So, you know, why not kill two birds with one stone? So if you want to check this out, how I've got this set up, and, you know, what few things that I do have in here, then don't go away. Okay, so this is the Cyber Gear Partner Pouch. Uh, I checked the website currently, it is not in stock. Uh, if you're interested in Cyber stuff, you kind of need to get on the email list so you can be notified when things become available. Still one of my favorite bags. I have this one and I have the original one, which is slightly smaller. But if you're just going out for an hour or so and you're not going too far, you know, people on the internet treat everything as you're dropping in some sort of you know Latin America jungle and you gotta have every freaking thing imaginable and that's just that's not reality it's, you know especially like where I come out the film is not that far from my house uh, if I was going out somewhere like that you know really far from civilization yeah I would think differently but sometimes you do want to carry at least some basics with you and the main reason I had this out here today is I've just been kinda of playing around with different ways to set up the JX Omega which I think it probably ready like within about a month so that one that's one component of this bag and the cold steel SRKC I just clipped on there for size comparison because I just did the other video on that but the JX Omega with the uh, max force clips I just went ahead since you got all this molly webbing on the back of this uh, pouch this was a nice component feature to put on here and this you know I can do pretty much everything with this knife and I'll be doing more big demos on this like right before it's ready to be released but it did work really well you know being mounted on the back of this pack so I just looked and I tried to think like what is the bare bones minimum? You know, bare bones. Like again, don't don't judge this on whatever kind of pet scenario out in the middle of nowhere, because I'm not talking about that. I just got done saying we wouldn't do that. But I usually do need some little tiny bit of cording. And because I recently did a video on it, and it's like, eh, why not? It's not small. I do have that night core, what is this, NWE30. Uh, signal device it also got that little night core keychain light uh, what is it the tiki lightweight these things are awesome you know, I got several of those lights from different companies uh, big ferro rod you know I'm kind of a fire bug so even if I don't need to make fire I'll usually make a fire just because I like fire <laughs> you know some sort of like surefire kit yeah nothing big uh, I'd probably put some of my little propane torches that I like in there I just got to pick up some more fuel you know and just the simple stuff for being out here uh, because I've got, you know, the JX Omega, if I wanted a smaller bush knife, I chose to put 
that cold steel bush ranger in here we did a video on this because th this is pretty freaking excellent outdoors folder trying to keep the the weight down uh i'm gonna keep a light in here and i figured for the purposes i haven't done the video on this yet uh what is this tt20 so i put this new through night tt20 in here because this is kind of a big light and i'm not sure i wouldn't want to edc this light but where this light would come in great is outdoors because of a the red color it just is going to clash with any other outdoor color out here the instant uh, max brightness but but mostly because you've got all the regular brightness modes and this being a, a 21 700 battery that's going to give me plenty 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 light time out here if i needed it so that's why i figured that was probably going to be the best choice to put in this simple kit. Now I usually have some mechanics wear gloves and probably like the biggest emergency. Yeah, I kind of came untangled here. But my phone is gonna be like one of the biggest tools. So I always have at least a 1000 mAh or better. I know this is like a 10,000 mAh uh, anchor battery and a cord keep the phone running and then not that it has ever happened but you know let's just saying it does minimal uh bleed control got an israeli bandage and some combat gauze this is not an invitation for every emt out there to tell me every other thing you like yeah, this is not going to save you from everything. It's like one of the giant problems in the prepper world. Is we try to imagine every possible scenario and then carry something with us. Makes you wonder how all these people survive things that are normal people and they don't have anything on them. So we've got some pretty good areas covered. And again, I'm weighing this against where I am and how long I'm going to be there. I my on a scale of 1 to 10 of risk level, I am at like a 0.25. I would have to like be swinging the JX Omega and nick an artery <laughs> uh, while getting attacked by a bear. Not that there's any freaking bears around here. Ohio is like really boring as far as wildlife. We don't even have any like really good supernatural creatures out here. No Wendigos, werewolves, fun stuff. <laughs> been watching a lot of weird shows on streaming services this month um yeah i wonder if old jacob beach is still making these slings the old beach and tactical sling i really like these still got mine yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take this knife off here put it back on my belt the way it was supposed to be but let's just say for instance you don't have a a cyber gear and there's lots of other different kind of pouches. I'm sure Condor, you know, the, the nylon gear company makes stuff that are like this. I mean, there's options. But I just like that this, like right now, it is in my larger Cyber Gear pack walking out here. But when I used to camp a lot more often, generally speaking, I would have like my crucial gear in something about this size. And then once I got the camp, that's what I would keep on me. And then have the pack and everything set up, you know, hanging from a tree or something like that. But yeah, I mean, I can do quite a bit with just what we got right here. And it's not meant to be a comprehensive video on all the different ways to build a kit, but it was my little test run for another way to set up this uh, JX Omega. Now, this is pretty much going to stay on that pack because if I wanted to put it back on my belt, which it does work on your belt, uh, surprisingly, 
and you almost don't notice it I would actually have to switch those clips around to the other side but I like it this way so I have my other one set up uh, to go that direction so that's that just a little something something I was messing around with today not a big deal uh, I, I hope they do get some more of these things available because they were quite popular back in the day and if he doesn't already make it what I would suggest to Malcolm out there if you're watching if you're listening Malcolm Coderre maybe that would be a really good hidden woodsman product is like a hidden woodsman type alternative to the Saber gear uh, partner pouch what do you guys think think that's something a bug we should put in his ear of course now I'm gonna find out he probably already has something like that but yeah I think a, a hidden woodsman version of this would be nice because we can't always just count on one company to produce something in another country and that it be available that they can meet demand which they usually can't they sell it pretty quickly so yeah um, put me on the list for review when you make one of those Malcolm so there's that there you go folks this is a little video of opportunity on my little day day pack pouch here with the uh, with the JX Omega so stay tuned for that um, unfortunately I did check the website and these aren't in stock but I did give some pretty good suggestions I hope something comes of that in the video but hey there's other bags out there you know set it up however you want all right guys so stay tuned on details on the knife coming up here soon Chris from prepared mind 101 thanks for watching be sure to click like share and subscribe I'll be back with another video here soon so see you then